Let's take a look at making a simple request with Python. This video assumes that you have a basic familiarity with Python and the command line. The Python client library expects to find a configuration file called googleads.yaml in your home directory. Navigate to this file in the GitHub project to see a sample. Click on the raw button in GitHub and then save the sample to your home directory to use as a template. On Windows, this will be c colon backslash users backslash your username. Be sure that the file has the correct extension, .yaml. Open up the file in a text editor and scroll down to the DFP section. First enter an application name. This is a string that will be sent to Google with every request and should identify your application. Next enter your network code. Finally, fill in the path to the file that you downloaded in the previous video and save the file. Now let's look at some Python code. First, create a virtual environment using the virtualenv command, then activate it by running the activate script within the bin directory of the newly created folder. On Windows, this will be a batch file. Next, install the Google Ads Python library with pip. Now open up a new .py file in a text editor. First, import the DFP module from the Google Ads module. Next, Use the DFP client's load from storage method to load your credentials from the service account file. Now we'll get a reference to the service we're interested in using, in this case, network service. Use the get service method on the DFP client instance you've just created to do this. You can also specify a version number if you'd like, otherwise the library will use the latest supported version. Now we're ready to make a call to the DFP API. I'll write out the next line of code and then we'll take a look at what it does. You can see that we're calling the getCurrentNetwork method on the network service instance. This is what actually makes the call to DFP, and it returns a dictionary-like object in the same format as the network SOAP object. Finally, we'll print out some information about the network we've retrieved. Let's save and run the file and see what happens. Our Python script has printed out the name and ID of the network we've retrieved.